The stopping voltage, also known as the stopping potential, refers to the voltage difference that is required to stop electrons from moving between the two metal plates in the photoelectric effect. So to fully understand what the stopping voltage is, let's recall what the photoelectric effect is. So basically we take light and we direct that light onto the surface of a metal plate. So the following light as shown by the following arrow is directed onto the surface of the following metal plate. Let's call, let's call it metal plate P. Now on the surface of that plate we have electrons and if the frequency of light is high enough, those photons inside the light will have a high enough energy to eject the electrons found on the surface of plate P. And those ejected electrons will carry a certain quantity of kinetic energy and will travel across from plate P to metal plate C. And this effect is known as the photoelectric effect. Now, notice this round region is basically the evacuated compartment. So inside this compartment, we don't have any air molecules so that no collisions take place between the electrons and the air molecules. Basically, the electrons are allowed to move straight across between the following two metal plates. Now suppose we take a variable voltage source, a voltage source that we are able to adjust, either increase or decrease, and we take that voltage source and place it inside the electric circuit that is connected to the following diagram. So as shown in this diagram, so we take the variable voltage source, we place it inside in such a way so that voltage source creates a negative charge on plate C and the positive charge on plate P. Now because of this negative charge on plate C and because each electron carries a negative charge, those ejected electrons will be repelled as a result of that negative charge. Now if we increase the voltage of the variable voltage source, if we increase V0, we will increase the electric repulsion forces between ejected electrons and the negative electrode. So basically what happens is by increase this voltage V0, we're increasing the electric field that exists between the following two plates and that increases the electric forces that are acting on the electrons to stop those electrons, to slow down those electrons. Now eventually a point is reached when no electrons have sufficient kinetic energy to actually move across from plate P to plate C. So basically the electric forces are simply too high and this is known as the stopping voltage or the stopping potential given by V0. Now, what exactly is the mathematical equation for the stopping voltage? Well, first, let's recall the following equation that we were able to show when we discussed the photoelectric effect. So the maximum kinetic energy that an ejected electron has is equal to the difference between HF and phi, where HF represents the quantity of energy carried by a photon in the following beam of light, where F is the frequency of oscillation of the light, and phi is something known as the work function. So phi, which is equal to H multiplied by F naught is the work function of the electron that is it's the minimum quantity of energy that is needed to eject that electron from the surface of plate P. So F naught is simply the minimum frequency that is required to eject 
that electron. So basically, let's look at the following diagram. We have an electron that is ejected from plate P and it travels across to plate C and it carries a certain quantity of kinetic energy given by K max. So K max, the energy the photon has, is equal to the difference of these two quantities. Now, to fully stop this electron, the electric field created by the variable voltage source as shown in this diagram must do an amount of work on the electron that is equal to the kinetic energy. So basically, the kinetic energy that our electron has as it travels across K max is equal to the work done by that electric force created by this voltage source V naught. So K max is equal to Q multiplied by V naught where V naught is the stopping voltage and Q is the charge on that single electron.